Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. When Harry Met Sally is a 1989 romantic comedy drama film that was written by Nora Ephron. And it was directed by Rob Reiner. The movie stars Billy Crystal as Harry and Meg Ryan as Sally. The storyline goes that Harry and Sally first meet as they finish college in Chicago. And then they spend 18 hours together in a car headed to New York. They don't quite hit it off, particularly after Harry makes the statement that a man and a woman can never be just friends because he will always want the relationship to get physical. Over the next 10 years, they occasionally meet and soon do in fact become fast friends. They share the intimate details of their lives, the hopes, the dreams, failures, and successes. And in the process of all this, they also fall in love. The characters of Harry and Sally were modeled after the director, Rob Reiner, and screenwriter, Nora Ephron, except for the part about falling in love. After 10 years of marriage, Rob Reiner and fellow actor-director Penny Marshall divorced in 1981. When Reiner met with Ephron in the mid-1980s, he pitched a number of ideas for movies, including a comedy based on his dating experiences. She agreed to write the screenplay for it after extensive interviews with Reiner. The two had many discussions about how men and women view love and relationships completely differently. Now, spaced throughout the film, you see interviews about how we met, where elderly couples talk about how they fell in love. These are all actual love stories that happened in real life. The director, Reiner, interviewed elderly couples and asked them how they came together. He hired actors to retell these stories for the big screen. It was extremely difficult for the writer, Efron, to settle on a title for her screenplay. She tried several of them, including Boy Meets Girl, How They Met, Harry, This Is Sally, the director eventually turned the naming process into a contest among crew members. Whoever picked the title would win a case of champagne. We don't really know who came up with the idea for the name when Harry met Sally, but let's hope he or she shared some of that bubbly. In the original first script, Harry and Sally didn't end up getting together, but Efron eventually felt that that was the most realistic ending to happen in the movie. Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan weren't the first choices for these characters. Albert Brooks turned down the role of Harry. He would have been a good one, though. He could have played that part probably as good as Billy Crystal. He didn't want to do it because he felt like it was too closely like a lot of Woody Allen's work. Brooks has turned down a lot of good leads. He turned down the lead role in Big and Pretty Woman. The director initially wanted Susan Day of the TV show L.A. Law to play Sally. They bounced around with some other names for the female lead. Elizabeth Perkins was thought about, and even John Hughes' movie queen, Molly Ringwall, was nearly cast in the part. But she declined it because of a scheduling conflict. Now, they use a whole segment in the movie where they have a split screen scenario. And this is kind of a hats off to the 1959 film, Pillow Talk. At the time that Pillow Talk was made, the motion picture production code, also known as the Hayes Code, had moral guidelines for all films that were released by major studios. The movies weren't allowed to show couples in bed together or any sort of physical relationship between unmarried partners. In this movie, Harry and Sally were kept apart to show how close they were as just friends. Sally's completely strange, picky, and crazy eating habits were put into the film after the director saw the screenwriter ordering food. 
and she did it just the same way as Sally does in the film. When Reiner brought this up to Efron, she stated, I just want it the way I want it, which is a line that was put into the movie. As a matter of fact, years after the movie came out, the screenwriter was on a plane and ordered something very precisely. The stewardess ended up looking at her, and she asked her, Have you ever seen that movie, When Harry Met Sally? Not having a clue that she's the one that wrote it. The character of Harry was somewhat based on the director himself, Rob Reiner. Reiner was kind of a depressed, cynical, and neurotic figure that had a really big heart underneath. And the character of Sally was somewhat based on the screenwriter because she was kind of optimistic, cheerful, loved control, and the type person that was just fine with everything. The scene in which Marie, played by Carrie Fisher, and Sally run into Harry in a bookstore, in the personal growth section, all that was filmed at a branch of an independent bookstore called Shakespeare and Company. At that time, it was located at 2559 Broadway. It's somewhat odd that Meg Ryan's 1998 movie, You've Got Mail, which was also written by Nora Ephron, was about the rivalry between an independent New York bookstore and a large Barnes & Noble-like chain. Throughout the production, Billy Crystal improvised lines that just popped into his head. One of the main ones was towards the end of the film, when he admits that he loves Sally. He states, when you realize you want to spend the rest of your life with someone, you want the rest of your life to start as soon as possible. Crystal and Rob Reiner have been good friends since 1975. They met when they played best friends on All in the Family. Many of the conversations between Harry and his best male friend Jess, played by Bruno Kirby, were inspired by their friendship. Probably the most famous scene in the film is where they're eating in the diner, and Sally shows Harry that faking her pleasure is completely possible when she's with someone. Harry doesn't believe it, and she just takes off running with it, no matter the fact that she's in a crowded deli. Meg Ryan is the one that suggested that they do this. Rob Reiner loved the idea, and he put it into the script. But it really wasn't scripted at all. This was basically Meg Ryan doing what she felt like or what she recalled. Now, during that scene, as you look past Billy Crystal and Meg Ryan, you'll see an older lady in the background staring at Meg Ryan as she puts on this show. That's Rob Reiner's mother. She's the one that comes up with the great line, I'll have what she's having. Take a look back at this really good movie from the late 80s. It's well written and well acted. And even if you don't enjoy the more romantical films, I think you might find this one to be pretty good. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.